long was I in there? About five minutes. Why are we not funding this? Stem cells are unspecialized cells that have the capability to develop into any type of specialized cell found in the human body. In addition to this, stem cells have the ability to replicate themselves for long amounts of time. There are two main types of stem cells, embryonic and adult. An adult stem cell is an undifferentiated cell that can be found in umbilical cord blood or randomly throughout the human body in differentiated regions. Adult stem cells have the ability to create more adult stem cells or create more differentiated cells in order to repair parts of the human body. Adult stem cells are generally less pluripotent than embryonic stem cells. Embryonic stem cells are stem cells that are derived from five-day-old embryos. Most of the embryos that these stem cells come from are extras from in vitro fertilization. A major difference between adult stem cells and embryonic stem cells is that all embryonic stem cells are pluripotent, which means an embryonic stem cell can become any cell in the human body. However, with this greater pluripotency comes a greater risk of tumor development. Those who oppose embryonic stem cell research are generally people who follow the Catholic faith or the morals surrounding the Catholic faith. These people believe that even embryos have a soul, therefore the destroying of an embryo through embryonic stem cell research is murder. Many opposers also believe that if embryonic stem cell research were to prosper, embryos would be created solely to be destroyed, creating a modern day genocide. Induced pluripotent stem cells are adult stem cells that have been genetically reprogrammed to behave like embryonic stem cells instead of adult stem cells. Although scientists are unsure if induced pluripotent stem cells are identical to embryonic stem cells, all preliminary testing has not shown any differences between the two. This is Claudia Castillo. In 2004, Claudia contracted tuberculosis, which collapsed her trachea. With her air intake severely reduced, she was barely able to walk a few steps, let alone take care of her two children without getting out of breath. After suffering from this for almost four years, her doctors decided that she had two options, either to remove her left lung or to be the first to try an experimental procedure proposed by Dr. Apollo Machiarin. A nervous Claudia chose the experimental option and never looked back. Now after her 2008 surgery, Claudia is back to being how she was before she ever contracted tuberculosis. She's even been dancing. But what was this miraculous surgery? Doctors took some of Claudia's own adult stem cells from her hip and sent them to the University of Bristol in Britain. Here at the university, scientists allowed the stem cells to replicate more and then form these cells into a trachea. This trachea was then used as a transplant for Claudia's collapsed trachea and the results were more miraculous than expected. No one knows what the future of stem cell research holds, but by avoiding the moral issues involved with embryonic stem cell research and focusing on adult and induced pluripotent stem cells, we will begin to see miraculous cures much sooner than expected. Maybe even someday there will be a five minute cure for a stroke.